Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how we can draw these raw nuts or what we call kacha badam in Bengali. So going with the trend, I decided to draw this uh, uh, drawing and uh, I've drawn this on a uh, handmade paper and uh, I've gone into every detailing like how you can create this in a realistic way and what are the things you have to keep in mind while doing this detailing uh, while you know drawing these simple drawings or simple subjects there are few things which you have to keep in mind while doing them so uh, i'll be discussing every one of them in the tutorial so without further ado let's get to the tutorial so first of all we are going to make the basic structure of the raw nuts the structure here is not very complicated it's just uh, you know some oval shaped objects you can consider them as uh, ovals okay and then you can just uh, draw the basic structure it's not very difficult you can easily draw it but the main thing out here will be the coloring so the thing that you can notice out here is that two of the nuts are in shape they are in not broken right so there you can get the detailing of the shell of the nuts and uh, the two nuts which are in a broken state like in the inside there you will get different kind of a shading so first of all we are going to use yellow ochre and cover those two nuts which uh, we can see are not broken or have the shells outside okay it's very important because the two shadings will be little bit different although the base color will be same but the shading style will be little bit different so first of all we are going to fill out those two with yellow ochre right now we will not go um, to those other nuts okay so now see i'm applying white okay i'm using the heating technique and then now i'm applying the white but the pressure is not very high the intention out here is to use the roughness of the paper so that we can get that rough nature of the skin of the nuts then little bit of blending so in case you don't know the heating technique i have just heated the oil pastel a little bit in the candle and then i just blew over it to cool it down a little and then i am able to create layers of colors over one another i'll give the link in the i button so that you can see the technique in details now that i have used light pressure uh, get those roughness of the paper I'm using brown to create another layer and see here the you can already see the yellow at the bottom and we need that after that I'm just blending it a little bit with the q-tips but still the yellow will be visible it won't get mixed out completely shouldn't get mixed out completely because you need those yellow spots for the detailing now I'm applying a shade of dark brown and see here when I'm applying the dark brown you can still see those yellows those ye ochre yellow which you applied in the first layer this is very important because ultimately when you will take off the top layer or when you will do the detailing the bottom layer is what it should be visible so when you are choosing a paper for your object you can use 
both the options like uh, if the surface of the object you are drawing is uh, shiny or smooth you can take a paper of low gsm i took a paper of high gsm so that i can use the roughness of the paper to bring out the detailing more realistically here i am repeating the same steps those little bit of blending and then again another layer of dark brown this is this step is very important cuz this will make the base of your drawing okay so until and unless you get the rough nature out you won't get the realism so since the background or the outside is white i'm using a white pencil it's a glass marking pencil to make the outline or the structure of the nuts bit more prominent now i have intentionally kept the speed little bit low so that you can check out every detailing that i am doing out here every detailing is important out here okay just because it's a simple object don't think the detailing won't make any difference or it won't be a big issue see the nuts are supposed to have a 3d structure they have a particular type of pattern on their body so if you can make the those patterns perfectly then your uh, drawing will look more realistic so here i am using the white pencil only so that i even if i take off the top layer i should get a blending effect not a very harsh line okay so see those curved lines out there they will make up for the you know bulging nature of the nuts now see very carefully where i am applying those black right in the middle and on just one side of those lines which i just drew see those will act as the shadows or the dark regions or we mark the darker areas on the shell of the nuts it's very important that you apply them carefully now i'm applying dark brown over it cuz you don't want harsh black okay dark brown and shade of brown is the basic uh shade of the nuts and see now i'm creating some highlights with the pencil again so that those and these little bit of black will make the picture pop out see how i'm creating the detailings so this is the approach that you can take or you must take to create those high level of detailing just using the oil pastel you have to keep in mind where the shadows will be what are the patterns what patterns are there now i'm going to repeat the same thing over again here i'm applying the black in the region where there will be shadows and now i'm just going to uh cover up the space with the patterns so we can see only the top portion of the nut so i'm going to make the patterns which resembles the top of the shell of a nut of the of raw nuts actually So see here I am repeating the same steps over and over and I am creating the detailings again 
so in case you don't know what are the patterns that are available on the nuts they have actually some bit of lines okay so now i'm moving on to the remaining two so here also i'm applying yellow ochre but first for the region of the shells the low portions of the shells which will be visible now here see i'm applying ochre yellow but i'm not applying lot of pressure in this section however i'm applying lot of pressure and keeping the yellow in a dark tone now see when i am blending it i am getting a light tone of ochre yellow and this is what i need cuz the color of this nut won't be of a yellow shade and uh, it won't be the dominant color in this and see how i'm getting a different shade of yellow when i'm just spreading it to the sides see how the yellow i'm getting now is different from the yellow which is there at the center now some white so when you break the nut the insides of the shell i have little bit of white on them some dark white as well here i'm applying some brown now see i'm giving a thick layer of white so that when i blend it i get a you know lighter version of the ochre yellow which is a blended or a mixture of white now i'm applying some brown so these two lines which i just drew right now will act as the basics of the 3d shape now i'm applying some red because raw nuts have uh, the in the skin of the raw nuts has little bit of red on it now i'm just going to blend it and now see how the color changes how the white has mixed with the other colors and has created a different kind of a color which is a blending of yellow red and brown so see how i'm marking how i'm taking off the layers on both sides of those fine lines those will act as the 3d these little bit of detailing will add as the basis of the 3d or the three dimensional structure here i'm taking off some of the colors using the same q tip in a blended way so you can use that as well to take off layers now some white out here and i'm blending it again i'm creating another layer of white cuz uh, you know there has to be a gradient when the objects are so simple like this like they have only one or two colors in them the gradation of those colors will act as not only the light portion but the shadow portion and will act as the detailing to be for it to look like a 3d object so see how i'm using white to mark that area that will act as a separation between the uh, the color of the nut and the skin of the nut not the shell but the skin the red skin so before drawing object you must keep in mind the shape the actual shape or actual things which has to be there so experiment or look into objects which are going to draw before uh, starting your drawing so that you have some idea like how the structure should look like or how the colors 
should look like until and unless you look at the objects in person or in detailing creating these detailings will be bit difficult because you won't have the idea like if you suppose you don't have a, a specific color you will get stuck you won't know how to get there but if you would have seen a uh, an object in person or before then you can always think of some way to get that color or maybe a variation of that color because you know where you have to go you know the destination where you have to reach here i'm marking the outside with black using my stedler 8b extra dark pencil this will act as the darkest regions out there where the light has reached the least but giving such black harsh lines acts very negatively so there should be a shadow where the dark portion is moving into the lights okay so first of all see how i am marking the areas with my pencil and I have kept the pressure light by the way see how I am going round the corners so now I am applying dark brown a layer of dark brown and this will act as that area which is passing into the areas of light some little bit of blending to get those effects like that portion has a tip which goes till the dark a region so these small detailings actually will make you know will build up the realism that area will have a little bit of shadow so here i am using my white pen to create those whites of the shell the shells have little bit of white inside like when you break it it will have some areas which will be white and pretty white i must say this little bit of black to mark out the areas some fine linings to mark out the very thin shells pay very close attention to the detailing now comes a very important part which is shadowing so i'm using my extra dark pencil only for shadowing you can use other pencil or anything like that for shadowing as well and now all you have to do is just you know after creating the dark regions of the shadow you just have to blend it with q-tip once you have done you are done making the dark regions of the shadow see how i'm putting some more shadows on those two areas which i said before and here i'm using my q-tube only to create the shadows and some erasing to create that gradient so this is it the end of the tutorial if you like this video Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification. Until next time, goodbye.